Hi, I'm Benjamin Gouraud and welcome to the Shared Catalogs presentation. First of all, what is Shared Catalogs? Shared Catalogs allows you to share up-to-date and personalized product information with members of your company or stakeholders, such as distributors, retailers, and so on. Before explaining it in detail, let's focus on why we created Shared Catalogs. At Akinio, we work closely with our customers. Doing so, we build a strong understanding of what it is you are struggling with the most. This is how we identify that sharing product information internally or externally can be very painful and slow down your productivity. In fact, sharing customized product information is time-consuming because each stakeholder has specific needs in terms of product information. It can take a lot of time and effort to satisfy everyone, internally or externally. Moreover, the freshness of product information is evolving so fast, which can lead to endless thread of emails. Indeed, the product information you shared yesterday can already be obsolete today or tomorrow. Your stakeholders always want to access up-to-date product information. That's not it. It might be complicated to control who is going to access your product data. Of course, you are sharing it with dedicated stakeholders, but they might share it with other people inside or outside your company, which in turn can lead to some security and control issues. This is why Shared Catalogs was created, to improve the collaboration with all of your stakeholders by easily and securely sharing the latest product information. Let's jump in. First, let me introduce you Julia. She is category manager at P Company, a coffee maker's manufacturer. She needs to share the new collection for 2021 to her stakeholders, the sales team, the shop vendors, and to more than 20 distributors worldwide. For that, until recently, she used to send personalized Excel files to each stakeholder. With this current process, Julia was facing two issues. Some information might still be missing or inaccurate because Julia did not send relevant product information to her stakeholders. She had to send new Excel files, which was so time-consuming and unproductive. Moreover, the information the stakeholders got may have been accurate on that day, but it might no longer have been the case the next day when they needed it again. You know how volatile product information can be. Now, from the stakeholder point of view, we identify a strong issue of dependency when it comes to finding product information. Indeed, the stakeholders always had to ask Julia for up-to-date or specific product information. They were not fully autonomous. And there is more. Because of that, Julia was often interrupted by the stakeholders in her day-to-day -day activities. Here is what happened day after day, over and over again. The stakeholders would keep asking for up-to-date product information, interrupting Julia once again until the end of times. This is why Shared Catalogs will help you to resolve those pain. Product information sharing becomes much more efficient and it makes everyone more productive. In order to understand how Shared Catalogs works, let's take a look at how Julia and her stakeholders will work together. Before giving access to Shared Catalogs to her stakeholders, Julia needs to define the product selection. To do that, she will start from the PIM and more specifically the export section. Everything Julia needs to do or know about Shared Catalogs will be centralized in this section. The first step when working with Shared Catalogs is to create a new export profile and select Send to Shared Catalogs in the job list. The Shared Catalog is now created, but it's an empty shell. Julia needs to set it up. Here are the three steps she will follow. The first one is about defining the product selection from the Content tab. Julia selects the channel she wants to use, then she will be able to select locales, attributes and products quickly thanks to relevant and efficient filters such as family, completeness, category and so on. Now that the product selection is done, she needs to define who will access the shared catalog. Defining recipients allows Julia to make sure she controls who can access her precious product data. To do that, she needs to go on the Recipients tab. To define a recipient, she has to fill in the stakeholder's email address or copy-paste a list of email addresses in order to save time. Once the shared catalog is set up, all the recipients will receive a notification by email. 
Now let's move on to the final step, the branding. The branding definition allows Julia to customize the platform for the stakeholders to work in a familiar context which is consistent with the company branding. From the branding tab, she can upload a logo that will be displayed on the shared catalog portal. The shared catalog is now set up as long as you don't forget to click on save and share. And that's it. Now the stakeholders will receive an email to access the shared catalog that Julia just created. Julia will be able to find this shared catalog on the export menu and she can update it whenever she wants. To sum up, and as you can see, Shared Catalogs enables you to share and control product information needed by your stakeholders in a secure and productive way. Now let's switch to the stakeholders experience. Let me introduce you Betty. She works in the sales team at P Company. She is going to discover Shared Catalogs, a dedicated portal that helps her access targeted product information shared by Julia from the marketing team. Let's discover how she will use it. As a recipient, Betty just received an email in order to access shared catalogs. This is the first step of her account creation. She just needs to click on Let's Start and will be redirected to the password definition page. When it is done, her account is created. Betty is now able to log into shared catalogs and discover the product selection shared with her. In a product gallery, Betty has different ways to identify targeted products thanks to efficient filters and the search bar. This allows her to be more efficient when going through this product selection. As you can see, Betty can filter on locales, on SKU, to really select the product she needs. When clicking on a product, Betty can access product information and assets shared with her by Julia. She can also click on a media in order to see it better and download it. Betty wants to export products. She just needs to select them. She can do it one at a time or in bulk. Then she clicks on selection if she wants to check if everything is clear and ready to go before exporting. She'll be redirected to the export page to choose her own export criteria, then on launch. She'll receive her product selection by email together with the product information and media. Betty can access her shared catalogs whenever she wants in order to find and export reliable and targeted product information in a practical and quick way. I hope that you have a much better understanding of what shared catalogs can do for you. Together with the onboarder and the PXM Studio, they will play a major role in helping you build a compelling product experience. That's it. We hope that you enjoyed this shared catalogs presentation and you see the benefits of this new Akinio product, where you can share product information easily and securely, leading to an improvement of the collaboration with your stakeholders and a gain of productivity. Thanks again, and if you're interested in shared catalogs, feel free to contact us. It will be a pleasure for us to give you more details about it. In the meantime, don't hesitate to go and watch the other Unlock videos and sessions.